just a quick message before I start. Thank you all so much for 300 subscribers. I actually wasn't prepared at all for 300 subscribers. It came so fast. Like two weeks ago, I think I had 285 subscribers, and now I have 20 more. I'm currently on 305, and that is absolutely amazing. So thank you all so, so much. I am so sorry as well for the lack of uploads. I've been so busy with coursework. It's so stressful, and AS exams uh, punch it in the face for me several times. I promise I will upload more frequently. I'll try and stick with weekly, weekly uploads for now, like I have been doing before. But eventually, I'll speed it back up to every three days. So thank you once again for 300 subscribers, and now, on with the video. Hello, my name is IvexSHD, but you can call me Fraser, and welcome back to another Minecraft video on the Hive server. I don't think I've ever done a video on the Hive before, so this will be my first one, but I'm by myself today, unfortunately. Sad times. But, it's an awesome game mode that we're playing today. Today we're playing Death Run. It's a new game mode out on the Hive, probably, I think it's the newest one. Um, and Death Run is actually based off the Gary's Mod game, Death Run. If you haven't watched that, I recommend going and watching a video after you've watched this. But you'll get a general idea if you watch my video as well. I've also changed my Minecraft name to Fraser, so if I type in the chat now... There we go, you Fraser. So, if you see HD around, that probably isn't me. Um, if you see Fraser, that is me. So yeah, let's go and play some Death Run. I have played this many times before because it's really, really addicting. For some reason, I never thought of recording it. I should have recorded it. I really should have because the, the amount of progress I've made on this is insane. As you can see on the statistics to the right, I have an insane amount of points. Oh, Cave Beta. I haven't seen a beta map before, so let's play that. If you like what you see after watching this video, you can always play on the Hive. The IP is down in the description below. I'm pretty sure you would have played on the Hive before because it is one of the popular servers. And this is a popular game mode on this server. Anyway, the game has just started. And by it's just started... Oh! Oh, that's so awesome! Sorry, um, I'm a death this game. It's actually really, really rare to be a death at the start of a game without, um, using your tokens. So this is a really good thing. I'm so glad that I am a death. Um, the death is the person, if you haven't read what's on the screen, I'm going to actually, um, make my chat a little bit smaller. If you haven't been reading what's on the screen, the death is the person that activates the traps, and their goal is to kill as many people as possible as the game progresses. There are a number of different traps on each level, I think there's around about 20, and they remove lives if the person falls in them. The average, I think you get 3 lives to start off with, and as you go through each checkpoint you get an extra 3 lives. Um, whereas on Gmod you actually only get 1 life and you have to go through the entire thing as fast as possible. I hope that makes sense. Good luck to everyone running, even though they wouldn't have seen this video. Three, two, one, first trap, here we go. Oh, some people were already running straight through it. This is not good. I do not like the look of that. I'm not sure whether I should go and chase after them or just let them finish. I think I am going to go and chase after them. There we go, bam. Oh, I got an achievement as well. I don't know if you saw that. Come on, die, 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 die. Damn it. Ah, he baited it. Baited that trap. Um... What's this one? Oh, that's a spawn war. Got to do it just as they jump. There we go. Kill one person with it. Good enough. Now, this piston trap actually does nothing. See, it doesn't kill them if they get pushed up in the air. Um, I recommend that guy does that, like, right now. Oh, God, go, 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 I need to get to the top of that. No, 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 no. Yes! There we go. So, one guy got through alive. I'm going to quickly press that button. Ah, he didn't mess up. Um... This bit does nothing, there is no traps here, it's just up to them to see- Oh, come on! Ah, oh, I missed the button. This is not gonna do it. I really need to get that guy. He's the last person. This is- there are only two traps left to stop him. This is this fire one. Ah, damn it, he's really baited this. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, we're gonna have to go back a couple of traps, that's a bit too far. Let's go to the piston launch Yeah, there's some people waiting at the bottom of this. I'm gonna... Oh, no, that one's already been activated. Oh, unless it turns green now. There we go. Killed a couple more people. What about this guy? This guy doesn't seem too good at parkour. Now he's definitely dead. What's up ahead? Ah, he seems to be going quite slowly through this. This guy, however... is gonna get murdered. Ah, both of them! Two for one! And then there's just this water trap. I'm gonna slow them down immensely by doing this. They get killed as soon as they touch water. There's no way to survive. Oh, what's happened? Oh, did I go through the thing? Yeah, I did go through the thing. I wasn't meant to go through it. How many kills have I had this one? I've had 10. I think 10's pretty good. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to go up the top, because there's no way I'm going to be able to use that water trap again. They're going to jump up here. There's only five seconds left. See if I can get one more kill. Ah, so close. That was a really good match. I killed... Oh, I killed 15 people with my traps. And I got 33 points out of it. So that was a really good run. And I'm so glad that I was able to be deaf straight away. Because deaf is a rare thing to do. A rare role to play without actually using credits. And I'm pretty sure I didn't use credit. Yeah, I didn't. So now hopefully we're going to join a game where I am the runner. I should be the runner. Because it is pretty common being a runner. So if you're new to this game, you may be wondering where I've got that banner from. And this banner is actually unlocked for completing achievements. Achievements can be found not there. Achievements can be found right here, and it shows how many achievements you've done, and some of them actually come with specific rewards. So if you finish a map, I think it might say... Oh. It's a bit... Hmm. I think I know what this is anyway, even though I would have had to enlarge my screen to show you the exact details. This one, this is the prison banner. You do this for completing the map prison ten times. This one, I think this one's Legacy. I think Legacy's the space one. You get this for completing Legacy ten times. And you get this, MC Hammer, for completing... Uh, MC Hammer, I think if you complete an entire map without losing a single life, then you get the MC Hammer one. So yeah, that's how you get them. And you also get new things like rabbits when you go up into higher ranks. And you get ranks by getting points. Ah, there we go. Now we're into a map and we're actually runners. So here we go. Welcome to Death Run. You are a runner in this game. Your objective is to make it to the other end of the map alive. Watch out. Traps will try and stop you, as you saw from leaving a death. Most traps are controlled by the deaths. Remember, points are earned at checkpoints. You get more points at each checkpoint. And you also get five... No, free lives. Upgrades. Some things give you special abilities, speed, jump boost, etc. So if you go into emerald blocks, you actually jump higher. Same life, you're gonna get a few lives where you get every stage. Are you ready? Good luck. The game is starting soon. As the runner, you also get free things in your hotbar. Strafes. Now, strafes, they let you jump left, jump right, go backwards suddenly. It's like a violent jolt. I use them to go faster. Let's just wait until this trap's been done. Yep, there we go. I use it to go fast and try and get ahead of the deaths. This is a really good tactic, and I recommend using that tactic. Ooh. That wouldn't have ended well if I jumped then. There we go. Use it to get ahead of the deaths. No deaths there. There. Now we get to run ahead, and the deaths will be running after me. Remember what that, that guy straight away? The guy when I was a death? Yeah. That's what that guy did. He ran ahead straight away. Oh, the ceiling's going to be falling now. There we go. Running through a checkpoint. Now this one, this one, we've already seen this. The water dispenses and the water can kill you. This bit's a little bit of parkour. The death activates the traps and the red blocks disappear. This bit, however, is not a trap. Oh god, the death's got ahead of me. That's not good. I'm gonna need to bait this trap. Will it? There we go, baited. Now I'm gonna need to really run. As soon as he presses that button, I have a matter of seconds to get to the end! There we go. And this is our jump boost. Go on to the emerald block, get a jump boost, jump and jump. Now I'm gonna bait this as well. This was quite easy to bait. It's just a fire. It's a TNT at the end. That is a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to strafe bait it. Oh, unless I could do this. Is it a dumb death? It is a dumb death. There we go. Made it to the end. First place. And from being first place, you get a bunch of different tokens. You get a load more. 20. You get a little bonus um, if you have loads of lives left. And I don't think I died once. I actually did a clean round, which is very good. And for being in the top three, I get an enchanted crystal. An enchanted crystal actually lets you use the dechanting altar, I was about to say enchanting altar, dechanting altar in the lobby, and the dechanting altar usually gives you a bunch of different tokens, ranging from 20 to 60, I believe. It's quite rare to get anything over 50, but it is a random chance. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's just wait until this game ends. Oh, this guy's last. Come on, you can do it, Casper. I'm just going to call you Casper. Come on, Casper, you can do it. Come on, you got to come to help. Oh. Ah, oh, poor Casper. Sad times for Casper. But this is a really good game mode. You must be convinced by now. Oh, you also get to share your victory on Twitter if you think you did well. So I'll do slash tweet. And I'll show you in the link in the description below that I actually did tweet this. Or if I don't give you a link, I'll show something on the screen. It's a very good thing, you link your Twitter account to their API, and you'll automatically tweet it when you do the slash tweets command. Anyway, 
Now, the enchanting crystal. The enchanting crystal is this thing. It's just like a little emerald. You get that from completing SG Heroes Come First Place and by coming first, second, or third in Death Run. This can be taken to the Dechanting Altar, and when you right click it, BAM! I got 36 tokens right there. It's a little bit low quality because my chat is descaled. But it's a cool little bonus. It's very good, it gives you a little bit more of a reason to come first, second and third, as well as getting the points, and I do love that feature. And here are a bunch of people. I'm gonna hit that person in the face. So yeah, thank you for- whoop! Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like this, then you can join the server IP in the description below. Make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you all on my next video. Goodbye!